Hey everyone, Tragic MTG here, and I'm back again with uh, more vintage packs. Uh, this is almost the last of what I have. Um, so let's get into it. Um, let's see what we can get. Some Alliances, Weatherlight, Onslaught, and Stronghold. Still looking for some big hits out of here. Let's see if we can get it, and of course we will scan it up if we find it. Let's go Pack of Alliances, and we will take our time with these, because... You don't see these every day. I have to remember what the pack order is. I believe these are uncommon. We got a seasoned tactician. Nature's Chosen with Rebecca Gay Art. Very cool. False Demise and Lake of the Dead. Well, what did I say about those hits? Well, there's your rare right there. Beautiful. So that one gets a sleeve right away. Uh, I guess I'll scan it up first, but and then we'll put it in the sleeve. Lake of the Dead. When it comes into play, sacrifice a swamp or bury Lake of the Dead. You can uh, add black to your mana pool, or you can sacrifice a swamp to add four black to mana to your mana pool. Big time. I think this is the biggest card out of this set. Reserve list card. 126 bucks. So, there we go. Stop the video. Go home. Erase it. There's our first big hit. Bestial Fury. I'm going to check False Demise, too, um, as an uncommon. No, it's actually a common. Uh, it's nothing big. Let me check these, two also. Nature's Chosen is actually a buck. And Season Tactician, probably not. Yeah, there we go. So, Bestial Fury. Royal Herbalist. Very cool art, actually. I don't know if I've ever really stopped and looked at that. Noble Steeds. Swamp Mosquito. Gorilla Berserkers, Soldevi Sentry can regenerate. It's a 1 1 that can regenerate. Let me just check. Let me just check. Nah, it's nothing. Stormcrow and then Enslaved Scout. Stormcrow is nothing, of course. I'm just going to scan it anyway. I'm just going to scan stuff like crazy here. So, can't imagine this one's going to beat the last one, but there are still some pretty awesome cards that could get pulled out of here. Provacan Plague, Deadly Insect, False Demise. I was hoping for that other blue card that started with F. And for the rare, Rogue Sky Captain. For two and a red, it's a flying mercenary with three, four. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a wage counter on Rogue Sky Captain. During your upkeep, pay two for each wage counter on Rogue Sky Captain or remove all wage counters from Rogue Sky Captain and target opponent gains control of Rogue Sky Captain. So I believe this is a reserve list card. And it's, you know, pretty much unplayable, but it makes it a buck sixty-eight. So Debbie Heretic. Gorilla Berserkers. Barchild's Crusader. Kildorn Escort. Look at this dog. All dressed up. Have you ever just looked at this card? I sure haven't. That's great. So I like the art style from Alliances. Kildorn Pride. Agent of Stromgald, Fevered Strength, Gift of the Woods. And there you go. Okay, that was Alliance is pretty, pretty good right there. So let's move on to Weatherlight. Can we get out of this? So this is another one. The uncommons are the first ones. Let's just go ahead and do it. Relearn. Oops, Gemstone Mine. Very good uncommon. Um, you put three mining counters onto it, and then you can tap to remove a mining counter and add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Um, so you got three turns of just whatever color you want right there. 765, that's a good card. Desperate Gambit and Doomsday for three black. It's sorcery pay, have your life rounded up, put your graveyard on top of your library. Then remove all but five cards of your library from the game. Put the rest on top of your library in any order. It's a big gamble right there 1428 that's pretty decent Talarian Drake Lanawar Sentinel Lava Storm Razortooth Rats Tree Folk Abjurer Angelic Renewal Rogue Elephant Flux Goblin Vandal Haunting Misery there we go. Okay. Next pack. Let's 
do it. Barishi. I was going to say Barashi, but it's Barishi. Some of Barishi looks like an elemental, but it doesn't say that it is. Necrotog. Uh, I'm going to scan that one, actually. Nope, it's not worth scanning. Cloud Gin and Dwarven Thaumaturgist is our rare. Am I right about that? Yeah, it is. $4.99. I think, is this one of those reserve list cards? Switch power and toughness of target creature until end of turn. Affects it, alter that creature's power, alter yada yada yada. So, one, two. So, I mean, I don't know if that sees any kind of play, but it's probably a reserve list. Bandalist Knight, Sentinel again, Lava Storm again, Rats again. Wow, interesting. Got the same kind of commons as the last pack. Renewal Rogue Elephant, Flux again. Vandal again and Haunting Misery. Very interesting. We got basically the same pack. So that's cool. Alright, Onslaught. That's where the original fetch lands are. So I've been opening this box of Onslaught slowly over time. I can't remember if I've got any fetch lands out of it. I think I did. So let's see if we can maybe get lucky again. We get a medic. Pinpoint avalanche. So if it's if it's pinpoint, it's more like an assault, right? You just like drop it on there. Just saying. Backslide. Rangers. Profane prayers. Defensive maneuvers. Wolverine. Trickery charm. Screeching buzzard. Secluded step. Shock. It's a pretty cool shock art there, actually. Uncommon. We got uh, Seaside Haven. You can sacrifice a bird to draw a card. Is that something that gets used? I don't think so. Skittish Valesque. Reminisce. I think this might be an okay uncommon. And Riptide Laboratory. Not the land we were looking for, but I think it's okay. You can return target wizard you control to its owner's hand. Yeah, it's a little bit. 366. Next pack of Onslaught. Uh, I think I saw a foil, so let's hopefully not spoil it here. Fever Charm, Screaming Seahawk, Crown of Vigor, Dirge of Dread, Gus Cloak Runner, Brightstone Ritual. Every time I see this card, I think it's worth a little bit, and every time I scan it, I was kind of right. Okay, it's a buck. Seize Claim, Lonely Sandbar, Snarling Undorak, Antico Husk. We got Improvised Armor, Chain of Smog. Is this one a decent uncommon? It is, 11 bucks for Chain of Smog, wow. Target player discards two cards from his or her hand. That player may copy this spell and may choose a new target for that copy. Okay, copy and spells. Chain of Silence, I'm gonna scan this one too, you never know, right? And a, a uh, rare Words of Wilding, so Chain of Silence is nothing. Words of Wilding, enchantment for three, you pay one. The next time you would draw a card this turn, put a 2-2 green bear creature token into play instead. You got to pay for each one. Mm, and we got a full of planes, interesting. 350 for the Words of Wilding, whoops. And a foil onslaught planes. Very nice. I love the foil on just the border. That's pretty cool. Let me just see if it'll scan up correctly. So it knows that it's the Onslaught Planes. If we switch it to foil, it says it's a couple bucks. Let's keep her. All right, here we go with Stronghold. Big time here. Another box I've been going through slowly over time here. Uh, luckily, I bought this box before it got really big. So um, should I do the thing? Should I take one, two, three, four? And put them to the back. I know that I didn't do that on any other ones, but hey, this is Stronghold. Overgrowth. Honor Guard. Provoke. Duct Crawler. Rabid Rats. Mana Leak. Hammerhead Shark. Crossbow Ambush. Smite. Flowstone Shambler. Torment. Heat of Battle. Is this an uncommon? I don't think so. There we go. Heartstone. That's an uncommon. Cost of each creature ability requiring activation costs reduced by one. That's pretty good. 
four bucks for the heart stone. We got a spine sliver and I think that's the rare. Yeah, spine sliver. And the rare is a Volras Stronghold. Very cool. Spine Sliver was reprinted in Time Shifted. And it is 50 cents for the regular one. I'm going to pull it. Volras Stronghold. This is a reserveless card. Legendary land. You can add a colorless or you can pay one in a black to put target creature card from your graveyard on top of your library. It is $117. Yes, it is. Great. So, very happy to have two nice big hits out of here. I think I don't like this sleeve, actually. It has like junk on it. Hold on a second. Put a new sleeve on the $100 card. There we go. Lake of the Dead, Volrath Stronghold. We're killing it on the lands right now. One more chance. My last, well, not my last, but the next pack of Stronghold. <clears throat> and we'll do that again because that was kind of cool. One, two, three, and four to the back. Venerable Monk, <clears throat> Overgrowth, Honor Guard, Provoke. We've got the same commons again. Lab Rats, Rabid Rats, Mana Leak again, Hammerhead Shark, Craven Giant, Smite. Flowstone Shambler. So Lancers in Core, is this an uncommon? I think so. Shifting Wall, I believe is an uncommon. I think, I'm gonna scan that one. It's actually 90 cents. Bottomless Pit, uncommon. And then the rare, Spitting Hydra. Not the one we were looking for. Bottomless Pit is actually 372. Spitting Hydra is three and two red. It comes into play with four one one counters on it. You can pay one in red to remove a counter, and it deals one damage to target creature. Um, quite a bit less interesting than some of the other cards that are in that set, but that's all right. Hey, very happy with my two very big pulls out of uh, uh, my packs today. So thank you for watching. Uh, toss me a like and uh, hit the subscribe button and comment down below and. Watch all my other videos and catch you later.